Hello, I'm Renee Yager, and I'm proud to announce the first in a new family of EGAN products from Efficient Power Conversion, our integrated half bridge. These monolithic GAN devices include the upper and lower sets connected in a half bridge configuration and are faster, smaller, and more efficient than any MOSFET or discrete GAN set in existence. Our first device, the EPC2100, is a 30 volt half bridge and has a 4 to 1 size ratio between the low side FET and the high side FET. This ratio is optimized for high step down ratio point of load controllers. The overall dimensions of the half bridge are 6 millimeters by 2.3 millimeters. The chip is only 0.7 millimeters tall with an additional 100 micron solder bump. The layout features interleaved switch nodes, input voltage, and power ground leads to enhance inductive cancellation. The high side FET, Q1, has a gate and a gate return lead to reduce the effects of common source inductance that could slow down the upper device. This page shows some of the key electrical parameters on the data sheet of the EPC2100. The first member of the family of half bridges has a breakdown voltage of 30 volts. That is the voltage that can be sustained across each device individually and from the drain of the top device, labeled VN in the pinout diagram, to ground. Soon we will be introducing 60 volt, 80 volt, and 100 volt half bridge products. The pulse current ratings are 100 amps for the smaller top set and 400 amps for the bottom set. The typical on resistances, 1.5 milliohms for the larger FET and 6 milliohms for the smaller top device, reflect the improvements of EBC's Generation 4 technology. Like all of EPC's fourth generation products, these half bridges are capable of operation from minus 40 degrees C to 150 degrees C. The monolithic half bridge reduces overall system size by eliminating the PCB space needed for interconnections between transistors. In the example shown, the board space needed for two discrete devices is 110 square millimeters. By going to the EPC2100 monolithic half bridge, the board space required is only 80 square millimeters, a savings of 30%. But space saving is only a small part of the story. By eliminating the power loop inductance that is caused by the interconnection of two discrete devices, we can speed things up. This is a switching waveform from the EPC2100 driven by an LM5113 driver IC from Texas Instruments. Pictured is the switch node of the half bridge. Sub nanosecond rise and fall times are achieved despite the 1.2 nanosecond rise and fall time of the driver IC. The reduced inductance coupled with an optimum layout enables very low voltage overshoot. 3.6 volts at 25 amps with 12 volt input. This low overshoot means that our 30 volt half bridges can comfortably handle input voltages that are significantly higher than comparably rated MOSFETs due to the inherently higher overshoot of a circuit using the larger and more inductive silicon devices. This extra speed translates into efficiency. Pictured here is the system efficiency of the 12 volt input to 1.2 volt output buck converter that we saw earlier. At 500 kilohertz, the peak efficiency reaches a record making 93%. The system clocks in at over 91% at one megahertz. Since these half bridges were built for speed, let's look at even higher frequencies. Here we are comparing the two buck converters we showed you earlier. At 1 MHz, there is a slight efficiency advantage to the discrete implementation at higher current due to the lower on resistance of the discrete lower set. The EPC2023 has a typical RDS on of 1 milliohm compared with the lower set in the EPC2100 half bridge of 1.5 milliohm. However, as the frequency cranks up to 4 MHz, the reduced parasitic inductance coupled with the improved device layout and technology gives the full range advantage to the monolithic device. The EPC2100 is the first in a family of monolithic half bridges from EPC. Over the next few months, we will launch devices with voltages ranging up to 100 volts. Our 60 volt and 80 volt products will come with both 4 to 1 and 1 to 1 ratios for the lower and upper transistors. These product extensions will be perfect for non-isolated as well as isolated DC to DC converters. EPC's integrated half bridges are the next step in EGAN technology. They offer higher power density through size reduction, higher power density through speed reduction, higher power density through parasitic reduction. More half bridges are coming soon from EPC. Follow us at www.epc-co.com. Thank you.